guys, what's up? How you doing? My name is Mel. Welcome to Holmes Law. Today, we're going to be doing one of my favorite topics. So for starters, we're going to set up the environment like how we always do, all right? This is our panel. Let's just make believe this is our panel, okay? This is the top of our panel, okay? This edge here is the wall, okay? So our panel is up against the wall. So it's actually up against the wall, okay? So just imagine that. And again, I apologize for not being able to have a better environment for you or actually a panel to do this on, all right? So I'm going to do my best here to actually elaborate and show you what I mean as far as my method goes. So we have the wall there. Basically, all you have to do is just grab a piece of Kindorf, whether it be shallow like this one or whether it be a deep, okay? Whatever the case may be, just grab a scrap piece or you can measure it yourself, you know, if you want to, you can actually, if you know what the measurement is for your scrap piece of, um, for your shallow Kindorf, okay, then you could actually just, you know, measure that, but I think it's best to actually get a scrap piece, it's quicker, put it up against your wall, okay, and simply just mark it, okay, bam, done, all right, now you have your mark there, all right, let me zoom in a little bit. You zoom in. And you have your mark. All right. And basically, obviously on the field, yours would be a little bit longer. I mean, it would go across the whole panel. Okay, because you have a longer piece, obviously. All right. Now, what this represents is your actual... Kindorf, okay, and your pipes are going to be butted up against this Kindorf, all right, so you know where they're going to, where your pipes are supposed to be, the back of your pipe, all right, so now you know that this is your limitation, you cannot pass this line, if you pass this line, you're going to be no good, because you're going to be hitting the actual Kindorf, and, and you're not going to be able to get your conduit in, so you know that this is the uh your your point of no you cannot pass this point right here all right for starters that's it you got that set now what i like to do is basically grab all the the lock nuts of whatever you know size conduits i'm putting in my panel and you know i'll grab me a few if i'm putting in five of them i like to grab all five of them because it just makes it that much quicker if I'm putting in three, then I'll grab three or whatever the case may be. Now, if I'm doing different size conduits, then I'll grab all of them, you know, whatever size they are. And I'll line them up, okay? Now, depending on where I want them in my panel, do I want them all to the left? Do I want them all to the right? Let me zoom out a little bit here. Do I want them all to the right? You know, it depends on you and what the situation is because out in the field, you'll know what the situation is. You might need them all to the right. You might need them in the center because in the future, you're going to be coming in to the right or the left. Whatever the case may be, figure out where you want them. Determine where you want your conduits to land. All right, for the video, we're just going to put them in this, anywhere, all right, in the center, whatever the case may be. Now, when we line these up, all right, I like to, you know, flip them over because I get closer to the actual panel. You know, when you flip them this way, it's not that close, but whatever, that's just me. I'm a little OCD. Now, this lock nut, okay, does not determine the whole conduit, all right? What you want to do is you want to line up the edge of that line with the edge of the inside diameter of the lock nut. Okay, that's going to be the actual precise back of your conduit. Okay, so you can do it till you can line it up with the inside of the diameter of the lock nut. All right, now you don't, I mean, you, you have a little bit of play, you know, so you don't want to go, I, I much rather be outside the line than inside that line. You know what I mean? If you have to choose one, it's better to be outside the line, not inside that line. All right, so now what do you do? You line up all your lock nuts, okay, and basically pick whatever, you know, spacing you want. Now, if if you want it two-inch spacing in between from center to center, you just, you know, you space them out however you want, two-inch center to center. And for the ones that are not actually the same size, 
what normal practice is, is you keep the same spacing that's in between the conduits. So right in here, we're going to say that our spacing is one inch in between conduits. Okay, it's going to be one inch in between conduits. All right. So what we do is we'll go from inside to the inside and that's my one inch. Okay. And that's basically it. You know, this is when you want to actually just be quick about it and get it over with quickly. All right. And still be accurate. All right. So don't forget when you have two different size conduits, you want to do the actual center in between, you want to keep that the same, all right? Now, when you have same conduits, you can do center to center, but obviously when you don't have the same conduits, you don't want to do center to center because it's going to look different, all right? So if we were to put this one at two inches center to center, look how far apart that would have been, all right? So in order to keep the same spacing, you know, in between when it's different conduits, you just keep the in-between spacing the same. All right? And that's basically it, guys. So that's basically it in a nutshell. After you line them up, the spaces that you want, basically all you have to do is, you know, you can just make your circles, you know. You can make your circles. And basically, as you see, they're not going to be that perfect in there, but that's okay because when you start making your hole... It'll widen up a little bit. You know what I mean? So, after you have these, now you can start, you know, finding out where the center is. Now, that's the next point is, you know, where is the center of your actual point, you know? And, and that you can actually find quickly, you know? You just basically have to... You can do this method with almost, you know, as many... Can't do it as you want. You can even do double rows, you know, however you want to do them. This is just a quick method to do it really quick and lay them out if, you know, um, even if it's not important, you know, to actually be that precise, you know, as far as the layout goes, this is the best method just to do them quick and they'll actually still look good and it'll be a very good work, you know, it'll still look like a pro work. All right. Now, another method is that I do when I need to get very precise is obviously, you know, I actually get a T square and um, or a square and I start laying them out precisely, you know, with the measurements, depending on how thick the, the, the diameter is of the conduit and whatnot. But this is just a quick way to actually lay them out. <clears throat> After you, if you need to, to find the center of the actual, uh, of your, of the actual conduit, you know, and where you got to make your center marker to actually pierce it through with the hole saw, you know, all you have to do is just, you should know the measurement, you know, for the, um, for the conduits, the outside diameter. So mine is basically, you know, seven eighths or one inch. So I would come a half inch off of my mark. Okay, and mark it here, and maybe do another mark. Here, let me show you. Uh, I'll do maybe a half inch mark over here, because that should be the center of my hole. And then I'll do another one right about here. That'll be the center of my hole. I'll get a ruler, or whatever the case may be, and I'll make my actual mark. A straight edge, anything that's going to give me a straight mark. All right, and and that's basically it. I have my center mark that way. You can go ahead and do another center mark, another crosshair this way, which is what I like to do. I like to get my crosshairs nice and, you know, nice and dark lines so I know how to actually where to get the center of my point at. All right, so that's important to me. I like to get it as precise as possible once I lay out, you know, my actual conduits. 
All right, so that's basically how you do it. You can save a little time that way as far as the layout goes, all right? Now, finding the center of these, you know, you have to get the measurement and start finding the crosshairs because you do need to find the center of this circle in order to get the right spot to start drilling. But, I mean, as far as laying them out, okay, I like the lock nut method. I just put them all there and see how I want them. I'll play with them around. I'll move them around to see how I want to line them up. And then once I got my method of how I want to line them up, that's it. You know, I'll circle them all up, and then I'll just find the centers of my actual circles. And that's it, guys. I hope this helps. You know, um, this is a method that I've been doing just to, you know, lay out panels really quick. And uh, if there's any other methods that you guys know, please send them in the comments. Just But quick methods. I want, any, you know, in the comments, you know, send me some quick methods to actually lay out panels. Okay, um, whatever it is that you have, just send it to me, you know, make, send me the comments, I want to know, alright, what are your methods?